everybody my name is Koshik welcome back to my channel let's keep it simple so the dish that we are making today is a very simple vegetarian dish so my take on uh, cauliflower korma so the ingredients that we need are very simple and there are many different variations of korma that you can make some people make it uh, with a tomato base some people make it with a nut base some people make it just with a uh, yogurt base so today i am going to so show you a totally a different method uh, of making this korma so the ingredients that we need is cauliflower onion and a couple of green chilies yogurt just plain yogurt crushed chili a 2 tablespoon of watermelon seed 3 tablespoon of almonds crushed ginger crushed garlic that's uh, one onion paste that's mint that's reduced milk uh, we call it as khoya and some garam masala that we need is just a half an inch of uh, cinnamon two bay leaves green cardamom a few peppercorns and some raisins so now i'll get started with the next process so let's get started so what we will do is we will blanch the cauliflower first in some water so when we blanch it your water has to boil and then we will put the cauliflower in the water and just for just just a minute So I have blanched the cauliflower and I have strained it and now we will have to fry it off. So uh, now I will just fry off these nuts. And also the watermelon seeds. Some people make this one with cashew nuts as well. So they get brown pretty fast. As you can see, they are pretty fast. And then as soon as we fry it, we will turn the gas off and we will put it aside. So after we fry the cauliflower, we will fry, fry the onions off until they are nice and golden. And with the nuts, uh, with the nuts that we fried off before, and this we will make it into a paste, nice and golden brown. And I will just.
and we'll just cook this one on a very low heat for 2-3 minutes and after that we'll add in the khoya so basically khoya is The smell is amazing. So this is a very rich uh, dish, uh, normally enjoyed with a very good pulao or a naan bread. So the recipe that I have shown you today uh, will serve around four to five people. As you can see, it's, it's nice and ready, and we'll serve it up in a bowl. Hopefully, you like this video.